The open file dialog is essentially a predefined dialog box that allows you to open a file. And there's two ways you can uh, access it using uh, the IDE from Microsoft. You can either drag it to the form or you can uh, create it through code, which is what we're going to do. But before we actually look at that, hmm, before we actually look at that, I want to look at this label one up here. Because one of the uh, properties of uh, open file dialog is what's called a filter. So if we double click on the form, we'll go to the uh, form load event handler. And what I'm doing in that is I'm setting a global variable called str OFD filter for open file log dialog filter. Uh, I'm setting that, that global uh, variable to this string which is text files and then a, a bar and uh, asterisk dot text and then another bar and then image files and a bar and asterisk dot jpeg and what essentially these pairs are is a description and a, a pattern in this case a wildcard dot txt so look at text extensions and in this case look at JPG extensions and I have a filter I, or a label I created uh, called LBL OFD filter and I set this text uh, value to uh, whatever this string is I defined and I say current open dialog filter so if we uh, save this. I'm not sure why we have to save it and run it. You notice at the top it says current open file dog dialog filter and it shows this uh, series of strings. It's interesting there's a bar in front of that but there isn't in the string I don't believe. And then the second event handler we want to look at is the uh, the button open file so if we go back to our IDE and double click on this it'll take us to the default event handler for the click event for the button event which is click and as you can see in code I have open file dialog and I name it OFD and then say equals open file dialog parent parent which is a standard way of instantiating a class and then I have OSD, OFD dot filter equals to this global string we've been defining and then the next thing I do is clear both the uh, text fields I have on the uh, the form and then the code that really does something is this part right here where I say OFD dot show dialog. This is going to bring up the standard dialog box. And then I have uh, equals and then a system dot windows dot forms dot dialog result dot OK. You probably look at that and go, oh, oh my god, I'll never remember all that. Well, you don't have to. As soon as you say uh, show dialog equals, it's going to put most of this in the autofill and all you have to decide is whether you want OK or cancel or whatever the possible responses are <coughs> and if it is OK it means you've selected a file file name and I take the two properties uh, file name and safe file name file name is the full file name fully qualified like uh, C colon slash you know windows slash system 32 slash whatever and safe file name is just the file name itself like uh, avengers.jpg or whatever so uh, only the file name 
uh, let's see how we're doing in terms of our list. I talked about the open file log file dialog and I talked about either creating it by dragging it to the form or through code. In this case we're creating it through code. And the filter property is that global string we're setting. And I showed how we're displaying the global string in a, a label via the uh, form load event handler. And I talked a little bit about dialog box return types and the if statement so that we're only going to fill in these two uh, properties, the two text boxes for file name and save file name if we get a dialog return type of OK. So I think we've pretty much covered everything. And uh, let's see how uh, this actually works. Let's go to the, the compile and run. And now if I say open file, you see this open dialog box appears. And there's a list box which has the selections that are in the, uh, the possible filters. Hmm. Which aren't correct. Let's take another look at the filter. Yeah, see, I don't think I need this first bar. I don't know why that's there. And I do need a bar here. Because these are essentially pairs of descriptions and file patterns. So let's resave that. Get rid of this extra space here. Let's resave that and run this. And now when we click the open file, notice we have the description and the pattern. And then if we drop this down, we have a second description and a pattern, which is exactly what we want. And I'm at a directory that just has JPEGs. So if I select the text, you won't see anything. But if I select the uh, images, you'll see all the various uh, JPEGs. And say I select uh, Avengers poster, 01 and then select open and then you see in the two uh, text boxes this is the fully qualified name and this is the short name uh, but if I say open and just say cancel that if statement won't fall into uh, the OK code so these will just be cleared with nothing filled in Well. I think that's essentially all I have to say about the open file dialog box. I hope you learned a lot and don't forget to subscribe.